Actor Benedict Cumberbatch has just become the first cast member of the upcoming Warner Brothers movie, The Jungle Book Origins. It was announced that Cumberbatch would be doing the voice of the tiger, Shere Khan. The film is being directed by motion capture master Andy Serkis, who played Caesar in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes this summer. The movie is set to hit AMC theaters on October 21st, 2016, but is not to be confused with the upcoming Disney film, The Jungle Book, which is being directed by Jon Favreau and whose Shere Khan is being voiced by Idris Elba, and will come out in AMC theaters in October of 2015, one year earlier. John, your thoughts on Cumberbatch joining the Jungle Book Origins? I think Cumberbatch has caught the, wait a minute, I can get paid movie money for just going into a sound booth for a couple of days? Because right. he's got, I mean, he's been doing, he did The Hobbit, mm -hmm. which we know he's loved doing The Hobbit stuff. He's coming up in uh, that Penguins uh, movie. Madagascar. Right. Yeah. And uh, now he's doing this. And it was also just announced this morning, The Hollywood Reporter is saying just about an hour or two ago, that joining Benedict Cumberbatch in this incarnation of the Jungle, Jungle Book, the Jungle Book Origins, stupid name, <laughs> is um, uh, Christian Bale, Kate Blanchett, uh, Naomi Harris, the kid from Bad Words, uh, Rowan uh, oh, yeah, he was Chand, great. he's yeah. gonna be playing the live action uh, Mowgli. Aww. And that Andy Serkis himself will be doing Babu. Or Balu, I mean, I keep wanting to say Babu. Balu. Balu. Um, so this is an interesting little project coming together. At the same time, I've never had a problem with, okay, two White House movies getting attacked coming out in roughly the same year, okay, whatever. Two Volcano movies, okay, whatever. This is two The Jungle Book movies coming out one year apart. I, I don't under, I still don't get the logic behind this and what either of them are thinking, but Hopefully they're both good, but it's, it is an interesting cast rounding out here, and certainly the addition of Benedict Cumberbatch is a good thing. Jamie? I love Cumberbatch, so this is great. And that cast rundown you just gave us is fantastic. Yeah. I mean, that sounds amazing. I'm with you in, in, in the same that like, I don't know why we're doing another Jungle Book, why we're doing two Jungle Books. I mean, we have the animated film. There was a live action movie they did in the 90s. Yeah. It didn't work out financially successfully for them. Why are we trying to do it not once, but twice? I don't know what's <laughs> gonna be different from Favreau's, from Circus's. Andy Circus doing his directorial debut and playing that character. That's Which I think is the most fascinating yeah, thing no, about that, either of these films. It, it sounds great, it sounds great. And then, I mean, I obviously get why Disney wants to do live action versions of their animated classics. So that makes sense. And if Warner Brothers also has the rights to the original book, then I, I understand the competition, but yeah, I'm with you. It's like, why do two? And, and always one never works out. You know what I mean? There's sure. always yeah. one popular asteroid movie. There's one <laughs> Snow White movie. There's not enough room for both usually. So it'll be interesting to see, but that's a fantastic cast. Although I did like the two magician movies, The Prestige and The Illusionist. You know, that's yes. a good example yeah. of yeah. the one time that, that the two competing movies kind of both worked. Yeah. That's one a good example. One kind of crushed the other one, but yeah. still. But, but I still thought they movies. were solid yeah. films. Yeah. Um, I mean, Benedict has a really amazing voice. He does. As Smaug, he was fantastic. A lot of these times with vocal actors, um, you're just like, why wouldn't you get a, a more seasoned, trained actor? But with his voice, it's silky. I want him to read me bedtime stories. <laughs> I love him. Um, kind of like with Bradley Cooper when he was first cast as Rocket. We're like, huh, that's yeah. interesting. But he killed it. So I definitely um, thought that was great as well. And it is interesting. I mean, most of the time you're right. It doesn't work when there's these two competing titles. One's usually better by a lot. Um, <laughs> but I do, I love Jon Favreau, all of his work. And Chef is still one of my favorite films of the, the year. year. Yeah, yeah, really good. So I'm interested with his take. But then Andy Serkis, who's just killing it with perf motion capture, performance capture. And he's a really good actor as well. So it'll be great. And I want to see how close to the original novel, because that was really dark. This wasn't the animated classic we saw right, on the screen. Right. It's really dark. So it'll be interesting to see who adopts more in line with that original novel. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.